If you're creating videos for YouTube, stock footage can be an absolute savior for you. It can massively reduce the amount of footage you have to shoot, and in some cases, completely eliminate the need for it without compromising on the quality of your videos. So in this quick video, we'll show you five different scenarios in which you can use stock footage from InVideo's inbuilt media library to make your videos look more appealing and get more views. The first and the most common use for stock footage arises when you are unable to film a particular clip while shooting for a video. For instance, if you are showing a New York City montage in your video and you realize you need an aerial view of the city as an establishing shot, you don't have to go out and invest in a drone to do so. You can use the inbuilt stock media library on InVideo, which has over 8 million royalty-free clips from premium sources like Shutterstock and iStock to find one. Simply go to the video tab in the InVideo editor and type in New York in the search bar. If you've just signed up on InVideo and are on a free plan, just unselect the checkboxes for iStock and Premium so you can access all of the free clips. You'll still have a lot of options to play with. But if you're committed to creating high-quality videos, we'd highly recommend you upgrade to a paid plan starting at just $30 a month so you can access world-class stock footage for your videos. Now, I want to add a drone shot between the second and the third scene to complete my New York City montage. So, I will select the second scene on the timeline and then I will click on the plus icon above the timeline to add a blank scene. It will automatically get added between the second and the third scene. Now, I want to go ahead and adjust the duration of this scene depending on how long I want the drone shot to be. Since the rest of my clips in the sequence are about 2.5 seconds each, that is the duration I want for this shot as well. So, I will drag one end point of the scene and bring it in. Once the duration is set, I will then drag and drop my chosen clip onto the canvas and this will open up a pop-up window where I want to trim the duration of the clip to fit the scene. I will select this option on the bottom left corner of the pop-up window that says trim video to fit scene. Once I have the required duration, I can drag around this little window to select a different portion of the clip as well. Once I've selected the portion I want to use, I will click on Add and now I have a beautiful drone shot of New York City to complete my scene without having to go out and shoot any footage. The second most common use for stock footage arises if you forgot to film a particular clip or sequence while you were shooting and cannot go back to do it again. For instance, if you were shooting a hiking vlog and you realize you need a few close-ups of hiking through the terrain to get to your destination that you didn't film, you can once again access the stock media library on InVideo to find close-ups of walking shots. Make sure for clips that you want to substitute for missing footage, you try to match them as closely to your own clips as possible. So look for similar terrain, a similar style of location and similar lighting. For instance, if your hiking shots were taken during the day but you use a stock clip that was filmed in the evening, the stark difference will make it apparent that you've chosen stock footage. Now, once you find a close match to your own clips, you can use these options on top of the canvas to color correct the stock footage using the adjust color option, as well as add effects to them using the effects option in the top menu to give your video a more cohesive look. The third most common use of stock footage is as B-roll in talking head or explainer videos. B-roll refers to footage that supplements your main footage and it is super useful for providing context to your story, tying clips together and for covering up any mistakes that you make while editing. For example, in this video, a flautist is giving tips for first-year music students. In this particular part, she is talking about scheduling practice time. So, we can supplement this with a B-roll of someone scheduling tasks on a calendar and we can also add a B-roll of a flute practice session and that instantly makes the video more interesting. The good part is that you can find stock videos and images for almost any scenario on InVideo, so you don't have to worry about obscure video topics. Another scenario where stock footage can come in handy is as background for text slides and transition clips. For instance, if you have a text slide in your video where you shift from one point to the next, you can use high quality videos as backgrounds for those text slides. Take this video for example about three ways to beat stress. I can use this calming video of waves crashing against the sand from the InVideo library as a background for each point I am about to make or any quotes that I wish to share. This creates visual intrigue and adds to the narrative of calmness throughout the video. 
And the fifth and final most common use for stock clips is as primary footage in certain tutorials, advertisements and educational videos. For example, if you're making an educational video about relationships or a short advertisement for a medication with a voiceover narration, filming for these can get quite expensive and time consuming. In these scenarios, you can easily find stock clips in the in-video library to save on both time and money in your video creation process without compromising on quality. And those were the five ways in which you can leverage stock footage to take your YouTube videos to the next level. And within video, you now have a one-stop shop for all your stock footage needs so you can save hundreds of dollars every month on stock footage subscriptions.